We're about to begin the third section of the class where we're going to build a reusable enterprise discounted cash flow valuation model tied to Bloomberg. Starting with the class on Wednesday, October 26th, over the next couple weeks, you will build the model along with me. It'll take us two weeks to build the first model. And then once the model's built, since it's tied to Bloomberg, it'll take us about 10 minutes to use that model to value a different company. So in order to prepare ourselves for building the reusable model, we are going to need to have a data template that we export from Bloomberg that will go into the reusable model so that when we export the new data for the new company, it will update the model accordingly. So your homework assignment, which needs to be completed before Wednesday's October 26th class, is to build that exportable model because I'm going to ask you to take the data that you've exported and put it into the starting model on Wednesday in order to begin the valuation. If you don't have this data correctly exported to Excel, you will not be able to complete the following homework assignment that will be due a week from this coming Monday on October 31st. So with that in mind, what is our next homework assignment and how do we do it? Uh, you're being given all class time during Monday, October 24th to basically create this Excel file in your Bloomberg account. So how do we do it and where do we start? First thing, you must log in to Bloomberg. Okay. Now, <clears throat> the company that we're going to do our valuation on is Costco, C-O-S-T, U.S. Equity. So when you get to your Bloomberg account, Costco, U.S. Equity. Okay. Then you're going to go to the F.A. section because this is where you get historical data in Bloomberg. Now, in this case, we're gonna create a custom export. So you'll click on custom, and then you're gonna create a custom, or it should be blank already, but basically exportable file. Now, the valuation model that we use in this class is gonna have six historical years. By default, yours says 10. Okay, so what you'll next need to do is click on the settings button and then where it says number of periods, change it from 10, which is what will be in your default, to 6. Okay, now next are these other tabs in your settings under FA. Go to data, make sure none of these four boxes are checked. We don't need to export any miscellaneous columns. All right, then for display, should already be defaulted this way, but make sure the display order is checked to be ascending. And <clears throat> this is fine. Hit update. Okay, so now you have six historical years across the top, and you're ready to export the data to the file. Okay, now this is going to be for Costco. Now I'm going to give you the file for Dollar General. This was from last semester and one of the companies that we did the valuation on. So this is the resultant file that you're going to export with just Dollar General's data. And it's going to be a roadmap for creating the reusable file. So I'm going to open that file in Excel, and this will be the Dollar General file. Make it a little bit bigger. Okay, <clears throat> so here's the point. When we build our reusable valuation model, basically we need a standardized income statement and balance sheet. Bloomberg or most other data services don't really give you that. So we're going to create one. We're going to create our own standardized income statement and balance sheet. Well, in order to do that, we're going to use Bloomberg to get the raw data. So here's all the raw materials for our standardized income statement and balance sheet, which will be built into our enterprise DCF model. Okay. So if we have the, this raw material, and it's very important that you have every one of these rows going down to row 80 in this exact order for these six years. Otherwise, the model won't work that we're going to build starting on Wednesday. So this is the format that the data needs to be exported in. 
these exact fields, these exact rows. Okay, six years of historical data going from left to right. Again, this is the recipe I'm giving you for Dollar General. This is the template that you're going to create and export for Costco. Now, one other thing, when you export the data, you'll notice up here goes column A, column C. Column B is hidden. Bloomberg, for some reason, auto hides it when it exports the file. So if you select A and C, right click, unhide, column B will be made visible. Okay, And column B is very important to this homework assignment. Because as you build this reusable file, a couple things about Bloomberg. Column A is what I call the friendly name. Okay, So that's the field in the database that can change company by company. So for example, a US company might call it revenue, a UK company might call it turnover. Okay, Column A is the label. Column B, the hidden column that you just unhid hid in the Dollar General file, that's the actual database field name in Bloomberg. That never changes. And that's what we're going to build our reusable model off of, column B. Okay, And so basically, revenue is database field name, sales underscore rev underscore turn. Okay, And so essentially, <clears throat> what you're going to do is you're going to basically come here to this file, move it over to the side a little bit, and where it says enter field right here, you're going to type in that database name. Okay, Now, if I click on it and copy it, go to enter field and paste it, then the first item that shows up will be revenue. I select it. It adds it to my custom template. I verify it. Hover over revenue, pop-up box pops up, Excel field ID, sales underscore rev underscore turn. Okay. We're going to repeat the process. All right. Next, cost of revenue. And I'm going to use this field, but to show you what you shouldn't do, if you start typing in cost of revenue, type in the friendly name, there's lots of cost of revenues. How do you know you're choosing the right one? that matches this database field name. You won't, you hope you get lucky. So instead of typing the friendly name, you type in the database field name, or if you wanna be quick about it, copy B7, go to enter field, paste, hit enter. Paste again. Paste, there we go. Uh, the first one is cost of revenue, select, it's the second one down, hover over, verify. This is a process you're going to repeat 78 more times, okay? You're going to put every single one in this exact order that is in this template. If you don't do that, <clears throat> then when you export the data, you'll have a broken model and you won't be able to complete any future assignments. So you need this exact template with these items in the exact order that is saved in your Bloomberg account. That is your next homework assignment, and you have to complete this homework assignment before the Wednesday, October 26th class. I'm giving you time on Monday, October 24th to do this in class. So there should be no problem in finishing this assignment before Wednesday. Okay, this should take you about 10 minutes okay, to go through copy and paste. Now, if you happen to go through and you're clicking on all of these and you come to something that does not show up, like you type it in and it can't find it, you can go to the backup, type in the friendly name, and then it will appear. Okay. Every now and then, it's a quirk in Bloomberg, we've run into it before, where you type in the database field name and it can't find it. It's there, but you can't find it. And so the way that you find it is you type in the label that's in column A, select what's in column B, and then verify. Okay, That might happen to one or two of your items as you're going through this list. But for the, almost all of the other ones, copy and paste column B over here, create this template Okay, for the six years. Now, when you're done with that process, so go ahead and close out of this file, then you're going to end up with a template 
that looks something like this. Okay, so this is my template that you're basically gonna replicate that has all the data in it. Again, this is now Costco's data. You have in your Excel file the data for Dollar General. So in just a second, we're gonna export this data, okay? But before we do, make sure after you get down to this last one, you type in deferred compensation, long-term liabilities, save your template, and then it'll put it on this menu bar. Okay, now I got a lot of templates here. Mine's called model, but save it, call it something like model that you will remember because you're gonna be using this a lot this semester, okay? Without this template, you won't be able to do any of the valuations, okay? Now, once you've created these AD fields in this exact order, you got six years worth of data, six periods worth of historical data. The final step is to export this template with the Costco data to Excel as the current template. All right, once you hit export, <clears throat> the file will download and open in Excel. Very important that your Excel has the Bloomberg add-in, which means it has to have this Bloomberg uh, listed in your Excel menu. If you don't have Bloomberg installed as an add-in to the Excel on your computer, it won't work, which means you won't be able to use this outside the lab. Okay, you'll have to export it from a Bloomberg terminal in the lab with the Excel add-in added to Office for Excel. Okay, if for some reason you hit export and the file does not open, then you can go to a folder called CBLP data. Okay, so on your C drive, this PC, there is a folder called BLP, which is where Bloomberg is installed, and it exports these files to the data folder. You could just click on that file and open it in Excel. If it doesn't automatically open, should automatically open, should look like this. But you'll notice that if you click on any of these numbers, these are not numbers. They're database field lookups. So that's the point. This is why it's a reusable file. Every time you open up this Excel file, it's gonna basically pull the Bloomberg database in real time and download the company you've selected and its most recent data. Okay? Every time you open up this file. Now that's gonna become a problem. This is now the Costco data that we need because you're gonna be able to, to, number one, not have Bloomberg on every computer that you use. And two, you see these long dashes? Excel chokes on these long dashes in formulas. For some reason, sometimes Bloomberg exports a blank field as a zero, and sometimes it just gives it a dash. We can't have long dashes in our file. So we're gonna have to make two final edits to our Costco file. Select the whole tab, right click on it, copy, right click again, paste special values. What that's gonna do is it's gonna override all of the formulas with numbers. Now, when we save this file, we can open it up anywhere. That's gonna be very important to using the model, okay? The other thing you're gonna to need to do is get rid of these long dashes. So, find, replace. So basically hit Control F, which is find, actually, close out of this, copy this long dash, Control F, which is find, paste the long dash, replace them all with zeros, and then hit replace all. So there'll be 48 replacements. You do this individually, one at a time, but it's easy to hit replace all, and it'll take all those long dashes and make them zeros, okay? Once you've done that, you've gotten rid of the database lookups, and you've replaced all the long dashes with zeros, save this version of the file. So file, save as, I'll put it in my, data folder or my downloads folder and again I'm going to call this Costco data save it and that's the file that you're going to need on Wednesday at 8 a.m. for all the sections you're going to turn this as a homework assignment and more importantly you're going to use this to basically replace the Dollar General data with the Costco data so again I've given you the Dollar General template Okay, you're gonna basically use the Dollar General template to go into Bloomberg and create <clears throat> this exportable template in FA 
and save it as a template I called my model. Adjust the settings for the six historical years. Once you put in all the fields, remember column B is hidden. So I'll unhide it here. Make sure that you put in all of these rows using these fields. If for some reason it can't find this field, put in this name, but then check it to make sure that it's pointing to this field when you select it. Once you've selected and exported, saved all this, export this to Excel, then select the tab, copy paste special values, and then get rid of the long dashes, control F, select the dash, control R, replace or replace zeros, replace all, save this file in Excel. Okay, this is the reusable data model, now has Costco data that we're gonna begin our valuation on. See you guys on Wednesday.